you know that feeling when someone's staring at you and when you go to look, you can't find no one there? Oh, there you are! Oh, I see you! <laughs>
is what you would want to use um, to start out. Um, now they do have some little extensions and then like a longer extension so you can bring it out a little bit you know um but this is what i was talking about if you decide to use the just the top mount this piece along with this would be all you would need for the top mount you know then you mount your camera then you move and adjust your camera to where you want but if you do the top mount you got to make sure your visor's all the way up. That way, you're not going to hit your camera or your mount. And it's out of the way. And it's the same thing with my, my G-Max. You can mount it like this, mount it like this, you know, and then get your angle. Um, you know, so. Um, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and tell you about how I put my mount on for my review um, because it was definitely a challenge. I wanted to try to get this as, as angled upward as much as possible, but at the same time, I want to make sure that there's no gaps in the tape or the, the 3M tape. And, um, and so also because of the fact that I have, um, I have a broken one, I think, or I have a spare one. Um, what I do with it? Oh, I just had it. Oh, here it is. So basically, what I did was, is I took a GoPro standard mount and I put it into my sticky and I basically I have a small I mean a very very small piece which I can't show you because I got my camera hook mounted onto it right now um so I took the very small extension and put it here and pulled it as far back over here then I took my dead cat dot 360 swivel which I don't think you can get anymore I think they're all done I don't think they, they exist anymore um, but I took this and connected to that piece and then I adjusted this part here upwards and I was able to also adjust this this way and that and you know, pull it up and, and try to get the perfect angle. And I tried to get the actual camera as far close to my center as possible. Now, I mean, there are some other ways you probably could have done it, you know. I didn't have some of the ones I wanted. Um, but uh, I really wanted to avoid putting it on the side. Um, you know, because like I said, you get that drag and everybody's, you know whatever you know so i wanted to stick with the chin mount because it's out of the way you don't have to worry about the wind drag and whatever i look at you look at and but the only thing i'm i'm losing is the fact of getting into my camera because i have to have that tilt back um but also you can also use the j hook <clears throat> um this is just a broken piece and stuff whatever um but you can take this J hook and if you have a chin mount and you have it straight dead center on your chin mount, you can mount it like this and then you can have that extension to where you can extend it outward and then it'll make it easier for you to get in and out of the camera. Um, you know, it's just a great way to go. Um, and plus it's not, you know, all the way down here and it's not like this, you know, so you can, you know, you flip that J hook upside down and then you can adjust it upwards. So you can adjust it like this. So it's going to stick out just a little bit, but you'll be able to adjust it back and forward. You're not just like this and stuck like that at all times. Um, and then another thing is, and you'd have to deal with your um audio and 
drilling holes or whatever into your camera. And that's what I started doing was, you know, well, I bought an uh, exoskeleton to where I didn't have to drill any holes and all that. So that's what this one is. And um, so I used that. And then I drew my core down and tried to make it more slim and a little bit sleek. Um, but once I got into the Bluetooth audio backpack to where I can avoid having those wires it makes everything so much better you don't have to worry about folding the cord worrying about the cord going bad um and having to replace it um you know and then having to move it out of the way disconnecting it and all this and then if you decide to move it someplace else redirecting your cord um with having an audio backpack it's so much better I can put this camera on my bike. I can put it on someone else's car, um, you know, and they follow me or I'll follow them and still be able to talk without having to be directly connected to the camera, um, which makes everything so much easier, so much slimmer. Um, I like it. I, I'm actually proud to have a Bluetooth audio backpack. Um, but if you all have any questions, and if you're having any difficulties, um, I know uh, Space Pod, he's got a good video, um, but he, he still uses the wired connect mic. Um, but uh, I want to show you, I just wanted to show you some tips and tricks that I went through on how I went through with this review um, and, you know, give you my opinions and thoughts. Um, so hit the like button if you like this video. If you don't, don't do anything. Uh, and if you're not a Forever Like fan, hit that Forever Like button. It'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I can help somebody out. Later. Okay, everybody. Since my camera is on my mount ready for the my review helmet, and I've got this already kind of set up perfectly. So I'll go over with you what is used. As you can see, the GoPro mount right there on the bottom. Then the short piece. Then connected to my 360 swivel. So that right there hooks in at an angle and then it brings the camera over and then I'm able to adjust it a little bit here and there so that way I'm not having a bunch of thumb screws you know trying to get it to perfect angle but I figured I'd just show you what it looked like instead of describing it so that's what it looks like GoPro small piece right there then you got your shorty, and then you got your 360 swivel. Okay, everybody, um, I want to go ahead and show you my other setup for my camera. And these are both the dead cat dot um, pieces. And as you can see, this one right here. Is a sh I think this is a short I think and it has this right here turns 360 degrees and um, as you can see it's it's pretty long it's probably as long as one of my fingers here give you an idea what it looks like in length and then on top of that I've got the three 360 degree piece on top of it so not only can I take this and turn it this way or this way then I got this one here to where I can turn left and right and I use this one on my G-Max helmet because it's got that front chin bar that's directly right in the middle um, and so I have it at an angle so that way I can put the camera here and I can tilt it back to where it hits this here 
and then that's gets, that's what you guys have been seeing lately is that view to where you're not seeing really the bike you're seeing more out out you know so that's what this this is doing that, that's this piece right here and to show you what it looks like on the helmet there's the the chin mount there and as you can see it sticks like right there and then the camera hits this so it's got that much of an angle to it give or take so I have enough room to where I can hit the buttons in the back you know to turn it the camera voice thing on and off and I can see whether it's recording or not and it still keeps it on my my vision um, but the only downside is like when I have the camera on I got to fill my tank it makes it a little bit hard to where I can see inside my gas tank but it's not that bad so here's a close-up let's see a little out of focus here but uh, this is a good overview of what it looks like and like I said this part right here see if you can see it better this part right here I can do 360 this way or this way whatever and then I got the movement of this 360 and plus I got the up and down so I can easily get my perfect angle that way <laughs> 